I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple has added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.6 Plus, the larger version of the two, just arrived. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our iPhone 6 Plus unboxing. So this is it. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, the larger brother to the iPhone 6, um, but it's pretty much what people have been begging Apple for for years now, because this, this thing is tiny. This is the iPhone 5, and if you see in my hands, it looks just like a toy. It's so small. So everyone has been asking Apple for a larger iPhone, and as you can tell from the size of this box, that's exactly what we got. We got two versions this year, the iPhone 6, which is 4.7, and this one, which is the iPhone 6 Plus at 5.5 inches. So uh, let's get in the box and see just how big this new iPhone is. Um, I do have a little cutting tool right here that I like to carry on my keychain. Let's get in. Um, I do know one thing about this box already. I have not opened this, clearly. All the seals are still closed. But I do know that there's no branding or no, no image on the box this year. It's just a little uh, embossed or an outline of an iPhone, but no iPhone image, which is new. Um, but as you can see, just going around the box, it's exactly what we can expect from Apple. Very plain, very toned down uh, packaging. And of course, it's wrapped and plastic. So let's get that cut open really quickly. See what's inside the box. I bet everyone can already guess what's in the box. Um, of course, this is the 64 gigabyte version. So um, there are three this year. You have 16 64 gigabytes and you have 128, which is very nice. I almost opted for that, but I stayed with 64 gigabytes because I have a 32 gigabyte iPhone 5 right now and I had about 50% storage left the other day when upgrading to iOS 8. So let's get the phone out and immediately you can see it is very, very, very thin. But uh, we'll set this aside because that's what we do to see what's underneath. So, of course, you have your little pull tab, which reveals this um, little pamphlet with all your stuff inside, your reading materials that I can't manage to get open, um, your leaflets, your stickers, and all of that. But unfortunately, this iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 Plus from Verizon does not come with a SIM removal tool. Thank you, Verizon. I guess they don't really want you to switch out your SIM, but whatever. It comes with a SIM in it. I'm okay with that. Your AC adapter as usual, and I'm actually interested to see what the amperage is on this, because it does have a much larger battery. It is still just one amp. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's still one amp, but this phone does have a much larger battery. It's almost 3,000 milliamp hours. Of course, we also have your standard lightning cable right here. Um, nothing fancy there. And your ear pods. Unfortunately, these are not the bone conducting ear pods we heard about um, just a few days ago. These are just your standard ear pods with a nice casing. They work in a jam. Um, I don't like them, but Whatever. And that's it. There's nothing else underneath that. So this is the iPhone 6 Plus, and as you can see, it's actually a nice size for my hands, which is very nice for me. I've, I've been cramped on the iPhone for, so, or for such a long time. Um, but let's get the plastic off. Just, uh, I don't ever get these noisy plastics anymore. I guess they stopped doing that, didn't they? No noisy plastics. They're all nice and clean. They pull off silent. But uh, I'm not your Michael Fisher. I don't, I don't zoom in for that. As you can see on the left side here, you have your volume rocker as usual, but these are elongated buttons. So they're, they're very thin and elongated. They're, they feel really nice. And then you have your mute switch there uh, for toggling on mute and your, your vibrate. And your power button has been moved to the right edge. So it's no longer on the top. That's because it's too big, too hard to reach. They moved it to the right edge, which you've seen a lot of other manufacturers do as phones got larger. There is your SIM tray just below the power button. And of course, along the bottom, you have your speaker, your lightning, and 3.5 millimeters. Around the edges, that's all you get. Um, so nothing major there, but around back, there's, uh, there are a few things to note. You have your separated plastic lines, or you're probably, I think they're probably carbonate, for your antenna separation, and then you have your camera module, which, for the first time ever, is, uh, raised. So it's not flush with the back of the phone. Some people aren't very happy about that. Um, inside, this time, you still get one gigabyte of RAM, so no improvement there. I've already told you, 16, 64, and 128 gigabytes for storage. You have the new Apple A8 with a new M8 coprocessor. And, um, this time, you get a 5.5-inch 1080p iPhone display, or Retina display, I guess you should call it. Um, but while this boots up, we're going to do some really quick size comparisons. This is the iPhone 5. Look at that. 
<laughs> That's a sight to see. But I also have some other large phones to compare. This is the Oppo Find 7a. And you can see these are uh, very similar in size. Uh, the iPhone's a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier. Uh, but yeah, they're very close in size. And this is the Ascend Mate 7. So this is a 6-inch display with very, very little bezel around the screen. But let's jump through the setup and get you a close-up of the display. So here we have it with it all powered on and jumped through all the settings. Um, I didn't download any apps or anything, but you can see 